Okay, here we go. This video is on how to add your NFTP to your wallet so you can see it when you get it, uh, when you earn the coins. Um, it's basically the same process for any wallet you would ever use. Um, but in this video, I'm going to focus on the Bifrost and Descent. Um, it's the same process for MetaMask, but if you'd like me to do a video on that one too, I can in case you're using your ledger still. Um, I suggest personally going to Descent. Um, or by Frosty Sun, I think it's still the best one. A lot easier to get around. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your uh, Bifrost wallet. You're gonna hit your little, you know, four squares here. Get them all lit up. Come to the screen. If you don't already have this uh, bookmarked, uh, the address is bestftso.xyz. Like always, I'll have a link um, down at the, in my description section for everything um, that I cover for all the websites I go. So basically, you type it in up here. I already have a bookmark, so I'm just gonna hit bookmark. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit the button. Okay, so if you notice, you had that little white box pop up. It said either Ethereum or Songbird network on it. Um, that basically uh, is for you to sign your wallet so you can connect to the website. Um, you wanna make sure you're on Songbird because if you're on Ethereum, Songbird's not on Ethereum network, so it will not work. Um, so by doing this, I've realized that you're supposed to copy this NFC contract address, but in your actual app um, from the Bifrost on the phone, you can't do it. So I'll also have this down at the bottom in the description um, so you don't have to do it unless you want to. Basically, you wanna open up a desktop browser on your phone or on your computer or laptop, whatever you're using, come here and copy it. So now once you get the contract address um, set up, and this is basically um, how you add coins to your wallet if they're not already in there, you would um, go to their website or go to like Coin Market Cap, um, you know, go and find that address right here. It's the same thing for going to MetaMask, you just add, to you import tokens as opposed to add tokens, just a little different wording. So we've got the address here, um, I'm gonna back on out. And now what we wanna do, we wanna go to the blue arrow. We hit receive, we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom, okay? And I've already added it here, um, but just to show you, so you hit add token, you, and you paste the contract address, you hit continue. This pops on up, says add custom token, it says NFTP, yep. So you add it, boom, this pops up, it's added, and then it should show up right there at the bottom of your list. Um, so if you don't have any coins already, if you have no coins, it won't show up in your wallet yet. Um, and buy frost, so on descent it will say zero for descent, but buy frost it doesn't show up yet. So that's how you do it. Um, thank you very much. Like, subscribe, and share if you uh, have not already. And uh, you can, if you don't want to learn how to do on descent, um, you can end the video now. And if not, then the descent section is coming up here in a second. Well, here we go for this section for the cents on how the cent wallet and how to add to um, the NFTP coin to it. Very plain and simple. You see your plus sign symbol right here. You click on it. Boom. You get add custom token right here, top right hand side. You choose your network, which is going to be Sombrook, right here. And you click on Sombrook. Hit next. And then basically you paste the address. See, it's gonna pop up symbol, decimals. You hit next. Information's right. Proceed. And you can name it if you want to. Hit create. Boom, there you go. And unlike the Bifrost wallet, if you come down here, right there, it shows up in your decent wallets. So when you get your, co your coins, they'll be there. Bifrost wallet, I think you have to get the coins first from the pop up in your actual wallet section. Don't know, it's still a brand new wallet, brand new service. Uh, Descent's a lot easier to use, I personally think. So that's how you add the best FTSO NFT points. Um, if you wanna add any other custom tokens to your wallets, once again, you hit plus symbol, either type in the coin, choose it, or you like this. So for example, if I wanted to add Bitcoin or XRP, I'd click on it and then Ethereum, I click on it and boom, I'd add it. Um, like boom, and create, yes, and then all of a sudden that wallet would show up my account. Um, if I want to do a custom token, like a uh, new meme coin that just popped on out, or uh, like for example, these airdrops we're getting, not airdrops, but these coins we're getting, the NF, NFTPs, you go to add a custom token, you find out which blockchain it's on. And this is the reason why I like these scents so much is the fact that look at all these blockchains it covers. I mean, they are, yeah, they are ERC 20s, but a lot of them are Ethereum, but I mean, it they cover, I mean, so as far as where Bifrost doesn't do this, I'm not sure. I haven't really looked that far into it for trying to add other stuff to it, but. Um, I mean, yeah, there's got a lot of options, but that's how you do it, NFTP, um, adding, and also custom tokens to your uh, decent wallet. Like, subscribe, and share.